Okay, so here we are at the Humphreys home. We're actually at the Unipest owner's house, and we've already completed the service. We dewebbed the house, we sprayed the uh, areas underneath the drip line that had a couple of spot treatments necessary, and we already applied the granules to all the flower beds. We did a great job on the service, and now it's time to fill out the paperwork. There's a very specific way you have to fill out this paperwork in order for it to be compliant with state law and with company policy, so let me show exactly how it's done. Fortunately, they've got this nice, handy dandy little table right next to their back door. So, it's state law that every single invoice has on it the date of the service, okay? You're going to take the invoice date, which is usually the same date, look at your watch just to double check, and make sure you write the date of the service, okay? So you have to have, every invoice has to have this to be compliant. It has to have the date of the service, it has to have the service location address, it also has to have the contact information of the pest control company, obviously up to date. You need to have the license number of the technician that did the spray. In this case, we have all the license numbers of our, of our technicians, and you just circle yours. You have to list the target pest that you're treating, and you have to disclose the common name and the active ingredient of the pesticide you use, as well as what's called its EPA registration number, also known as its EPA reg number. Besides that, you have to have a list of the target areas that were treated, okay, and a small spot for notes. So, what we do is, first we write the work date. I already wrote the work date right here, nice, big, and bold. As company policy, this isn't law, but as company policy, we put down the time. As you can see, it's about almost 345. So I usually write the time that we left by putting exit 345 p.m. so people know when we were there. You then circle your license number. In my case, mine is the first right there. And you sign it. Once you sign it, you're putting your name on it. It means that this is an official document. I put down the target pest that we were treating for. In this case, it was the regular spider, ants, and silverfish, as well as crawling insects. You can circle them, you can underline them, you can check next to them, anything that's obvious. And since we used a little bit of temperate, I'm gonna put down the four milliliters of temperate that we used, making sure everything is legible, as well as the granules that we use. In this case, I put down one unit because we use one unit of granules, okay? Now, if I have any other notes that I wanna put on here, I put have, a great day from Cardin. You can write thank you for your business, you can write anything you want, just make sure that it's personalized. Once this is done correctly, you have a fully compliant service ticket. Now all you have to do is take one last look at it, make sure it looks good. In this case, it's a pays by check client. You'll notice after the amount, it says pays by check. Usually it'll say pays by credit card or pays by check. If they're a pay by check account, besides taking the service ticket and putting it in the envelope like you do for everybody else, you also must include the small payment envelope. So we're gonna take this, fold it into thirds, all right? After we fo fold it into thirds, we stick it inside the envelope, making sure that their information is visible right there. I write a small note, it's right now it's the new year, so I'm just gonna write happy new year. If you have anything else you wanna say to them, like we had to move your barbecue, or oh hey, uh, one time I found a garage door opener on a lawn, so I had to write that on there, so on and so forth. You can write whatever you want, but just write something nice, something kind, something seasonal. Happy new year, Cardinalis. And then make sure that you include, if they're a pay by check person, that return payment envelope. Once everything is there, you got the note, it's legible, it's in the right spot. You can seal it shut and put it right on their door. You're not allowed to put it inside of the mailbox because that's technically federal property and that's against mail law. So just make sure you wedge it inside of the door. If you can't put it in the door because maybe the door's got a funky seal on it or it's just not that kind of door, make sure that you leave it in an obvious location underneath the mat. Once you've completed this, You've successfully completed the uh, paperwork for the customer. Now all you have to do is duplicate that process, but for the company copy. We have to retain for a certain period of time a copy of every service ticket of every service performed. So there is an exact replica of that invoice that we gave you 
in a big stack stapled to the service tech ticket tickets you're going to give to the customers. Make sure after every service you fill out the customer's copy and then you go back to the truck and you fill out our copy correctly citing the time, the pesticide used, the areas used, the license number, and you sign that copy as well. And at the end of the day, you're going to give that completed packet to your supervisor or to Craig or whoever is in charge that day in the office. You have to do all of this paperwork without fail or our service and you are non-compliant. When you leave the office every day, you're going to be given two stacks of paperwork. One is going to be a stapled stack um, of your route invoices with a cover sheet on it that is going to have a summary of all the services you are going to do that day. You will check them off as you finish each service. You will also leave any notes for people in the office and any other communication you need to give the secretary or the people in um, the office right here as well. Whenever you need to fill out the company copy of each service, you're going to fill out the uh, service ticket that is in this stapled packet right here. Each service ticket should be completely filled out and look like this after each service. Then you will fill out the customer version and this is the copy that is left on the door inside of a nice envelope with a pleasant note on it. So remember, when you leave the office every day, you should have two exactly equal stacks of paperwork. One, the copy that is going to come back to the office with the route cover sheet. And then you should also have the stack of invoices and service tickets for the customers. These will you, you will use up during um, your services during the day. These you will come back with fully completed. Every time I do a house, I write a positive note, like some kind of happy new year or have a good weekend, just because it generates a much better relationship with the customer. It's a lot harder to fire a friend than it is to uh, fire an unknown person, they say. Also, it's useful because sometimes you need to relay some kind of message to the customer and it personalizes the surface. In this case, we just barely found a garage door opener that had fallen out. Um, on the lawn of the customer. I'm sure when they were getting out of their car it slipped off the visor or something. So I slipped it on their door and I'm going to notify them by putting a little note on the envelope that hey we found the garage door opener. So here it is. Happy New Year. We found a garage door opener on your lawn. See you next time. And then I just put down my first name with a little exclamation mark and a smiley or something along those lines. And that's it. This is a good service envelope. Now all you got to do is leave it in the front door. Now there's some specific rules about where you can place these envelopes. There are specific rules about where you can place them because technically mailboxes are federal property. So you're not allowed to just stick it inside of the mailbox. You actually have to wedge it just on the door like that. This is the preferable method of leaving a service ticket is simply putting it on a door. We know they're not home so they're going to see it when they get back. Once you finish this with your personalized note, you're ready to go to the next service.